the Chung Guy, are fun guys. <laughs> yeah. Hello, and welcome back to the Confluence Tap Room. I'm Josh, the production manager here, and I'm joined by... My name's Sam. I'm one of the <laughs> tap people. You're always trying to be someone else. <laughs> I am. Yeah. I hate myself. Oh. That's why I drink. <laughs> well, it sounds like you need some chungus. <gasps> Everyone needs a little chungus. Yeah. We're here for another beer a week release. In this case, we've got two because they're related. Uh, we're also releasing a new batch beer, so check out the other video if you're interested in that. It's or... really good anything related to the year 1761. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we've got Big Chungus and we've got Old Chungus. What's the difference? Uh, Big Chungus is a uh, Wee Heavy. Do we call it a Wee Heavy? Or do we call we do. it a Scot Scottish Ale? Yeah, we do yeah. call it a Wee Heavy on the label. Uh, it's a Wee Heavy, <laughs> which is, uh, the, the Scottish brewing like nomenclature is like Byzantine and bizarre. A lot of it's related to like how much the beer cost at the time that they developed it. Oh. So there's like there's like a like a ten shilling ale and like a like it's just like so we heavy. I did not know that. We heavy is like it's obviously a contradiction, right? It's a little heavy, but <laughs> like, yeah. I think it's because it was a little bigger. I, it's been a while since I I like it looked into Very the history of it but yeah yeah let's open it let's get after it um so anyway uh for us for uh american craft brewing as it stands right now uh you know the wee heavy is a big uh scotch ale um and it's different from say Grays like nephew which is a scottish ale uh because uh it's just more caramel, thicker, richer, bigger bodied, much higher alcohol content. I'm trying to remember what this one weighs in at. I think it's 11% for a big chungus. Oh man, so this, you, you do not smell that. Oh no, not at it's, all. Uh, so this is, these are big, big beers. Um, we treat them the same way we treat like ferrymen's. Uh, we'll double mash them. So it's, you know, twice the grain and the same amount of volume of liquid. Big chungus is the fresh version. So we give it the time it needs, gets packaged. I think it's full, at this stage of its life, it's full of uh, rich like caramel and toffee. And then you get uh, like some fruitiness uh, from yep. the yeast. And that yeast uh, produces like a little stone fruit. I get like cherry out of this, I don't know. Oh yeah, here, yeah, totally. Yeah, so what happens if you were to age said chungus? Well, it turns into the beer that I have often uh, characterized as the best barrel aged beer that we make, and I, I am still of that opinion. Um, Old Chungus is, this year it actually ended up being a, a year to the day after we put it into the barrels. Oh, you want your own? Oh, I mean, yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's probably more than I need. Uh, here, I'll pour extra. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, a year to the day, yeah, this is, at, at some point I should write down my top five beers we make list, because I bring it up every now and then, I bet I say it more than five times a year. But, <laughs> uh, Old Jungus is absolutely one of my favorite beers that we make. Yeah, this is, this is really, 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 really good. Yeah, um, you know, the, the fresh character, like I said, is more like caramel and toffee. This is like toffee brown sugar molasses <laughs> yes. um, and less like light caramel. It tastes heavier, it's richer, it's thicker due to the time that it's spent in the evaporation. There's like a lot, instead of being bright fruit like a cherry, uh, I feel like the fruit here is like raisins, like macerated fruits, yeah. uh, dried fruits, like dried plums, dried raisins. Um, yeah, it's just delightful and then you get that bourbon heat, but not overwhelming. Either of these is absolutely perfect for a dark January evening non in front of the fire. Yeah, if you yep. want a non-stout, like this yeah. is. Yes, yes, And absolutely. I know we've, we've released a few of those of late, of course. Um, this preps you yeah. for stout month. It does prep yeah. you for stout month. Yeah, yeah. it gets you rolling right into stout month next month, so. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Mm. We appreciate I'm you. I'm already empty. Thanks for joining me, I guess I'll have to top back up. Cheers.